For today's quiz, we're trying to solve for side B. Let me explain. We've got a massive rectangle here, and it's a special rectangle. We'll call it the golden rectangle. It is composed of a square, and the square is of magnitude 1, so that side is equal to 1, as would this be. It's extended out so that a giant circle where the radius starts halfway uh, across the square on this base will touch this edge of the rectangle, this edge of the square, and this edge of the square. So in other words, this giant circle is wrapping around here. Our goal today is to find B. This is what the quiz looks like. It's going to look identical to this, but on a paper it looks like this. Our goal is to solve for uh, side B. As always, have your students mark as much as they need to, and then when they're done, have them mark their confidence. Typical student responses are, A, you haven't given us enough information. And so, look, just give them this next piece. If you give them this piece, most of them can move on. So, remind them that this radius can be drawn anywhere. And the big hint, is by saying, what if we were to draw that from here to here, like so. By giving that hint, most of them can get going again. Once the students have figured out that this is a right triangle, and they can put that in here, like so, and We'll call that R for radius. Most of them can see, well, this must also be A divided by 2, which is just going to be 1 half. And they know this is side A, which is going to end up being 1. Most of them can say, I can do my A squared plus B squared to get my C squared. Have them write this down neatly. Most of them just want to do it in their head. And they end up getting it wrong because they didn't write it down. So let's write this out. We'll invoke Pythagoras. We'll say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, we'll call this side a. So we'll say we have our 1 half plus our 1. And these are both going to end up having to be squared. Equals, instead of calling it's side C, let's call it what it is, which is the radius now. So we could say that's going to be equal to our radius squared. Most of them are going to be able to square one half, and they'll end up with one all over four plus one equals our R squared. Now, in this case, they might get stuck for a second. Remind them that they can end up making the number one into fours also, or fourths. It's four fourths. So we can say one fourth plus four all over four must equal our r squared. That r is a little bit in the way. I'm going to move it to the side over here for right now. I'll call this our radius r. So now I've got five fourths equals my r squared, and therefore r must be the square root of 5 all over the square root of 4, which is just going to be 2. Now that we have that, let's see if they can get side b. Once a is found, we can say, well, look, r can also be this length down here. So let's go ahead and draw that in. And we'll make r equal to this length from here to here. So I'll put a little arrow down here, maybe a little bit further down from here. I'll leave plenty of room all the way over to here. So I'll say this is going to end up being my r. So radius right there and then I can say, well, what is that radius? Well, it's side B plus this one half. So is equal to our side B plus our one half. 
once they have that, they can start to really work through this because they can say, I can rearrange this using some simple algebra and end up getting B. Maybe I'll move that up here. So I can say if R equals B plus one half, well, B can be thought of as being R minus one half. And we found R is going to end up being R square root of five all over two minus one half. And that would be side B. We can now use our calculator and we could say the square root of five. So I'll plug that in. Square root of five is 2.236. Well, I'm running out of room, so I'm just going to divide it by two right now. Divided by two equals 1.1 1 .1, 1 8 that number seems familiar minus we'll just do minus 0. 0.5 all that equals B so I'll take that minus our 0. 0.5 and we end up with this number that we're going to recognize side B is going to end up being 0. 0.618 so in other words this is going to be 0.618 from here to here. I don't have room down there, so I'll just redraw it. So I'll end up saying my side B right here. From there to there is 0.618. That's how you get side B. But there's much more. We're going to go into a little bit more depth in a moment. All right, now so, uh, some interesting pieces about this uh, rectangle. If you haven't noticed, if I have B, which is equal to 0.68 uh, or 1.8, and I add that to 1, which this is going to be right here, is just 1. So I'll put this just to make it really explicit from here over to here. And we could say, remember, that's A equals to 1 from there to there. We can end up saying phi overall, so let me go from here, try not to get this to move, to right there, that's going to be our phi value, which is 1.618. Once we know that, we can say, look, phi, which is that golden ratio, uh, is going to simply be 1 plus B. And if you remember, this 0.618 came about because it happens to be 1 all over our phi was 0.618. And I'll just show you that again. I'll put that in my calculator, and I can say uh, 1.618, and I'll take the inverse of that, and I get 0.618. Why is this so impressive? Well, look, if we have phi being equal to 1 over phi plus 1, think about this. We now have phi is equal to 1 all over phi, 1 over itself, plus 1. That is a bizarre statement to start off with, really bizarre. I can then end up multiplying both sides by phi, and I can say phi squared equals phi all over phi plus phi. In other words, I multiplied everything on that side by phi, everything on this side by phi. So I'd end up with phi squared equals 1 plus itself. How bizarre is that equation right there? The value is whatever it is, um, plus 1 is equal to the square. I, I think I said that wrong, but regardless, let's put this in. I can say 1 plus 1 1.618 is equal to, and I can do this in my head now, 2.618. And I'll just make sure that that's true. It's in my calculator. I'll put um, 1.618, and I'll square that. And lo and behold, I get 2.618. This is the most bizarre uh, pattern in nature. 
Okay, so just a strange, strange formula. Itself plus one is equal to itself squared. Another odd oddity that we're going to have is we can say B is going to be equal to A plus B. And since A is one, I can just divide it by itself. So I can say this is another expression that we could say. A plus B divided by A is going to end up giving us phi. We can also get phi by taking our A divided by B. A bigger thing divided by a smaller thing, and that would also give us phi. Just such a bizarre combination here. This uh, golden rectangle that uses the golden ratio that uh, encapsulates what we found with Fibonacci is just a ton of fun, and it just never ends. It goes on and on. Uh, in other quizzes, I'll show you how this ties in with art, but for now, let's call that our quiz.